Dun 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 the war gave rise to two decisive naval battles. The first was the Battle of the Yellow Sea. The Japanese army had begun to lay siege to the Russian Port Arthur, so the Russian Pacific Fleet decided to get while the getting was good. On August 10th, the Russians, under Admiral Vitgaft, made a run for Vladivostok. In their way was the Japanese fleet, commanded by Admiral Heihachiro Togo. The Russians succeeded in breaking out of the harbor, but after the Japanese caught up, the real action started. Unfortunately for the Russians, Admiral Vitgeft got killed when a shell splinter struck his ship, the Cesarevich, and soon after, other shell hits killed almost the entire bridge crew and commanding officers. To make matters worse, the ship's wheel had been wedged in place and the Cesarevich went into such a sharp turn that the ship healed over 12 degrees. Other ships in the line hadn't realized what was happening and followed suit, which resulted in chaos as the fleet eventually turned in on itself. The Japanese were still firing away, so the remainder of the Russian fleet gave up on trying to make Vladivostok and went back to Port Arthur where, like sitting ducks, they were shelled and sunk by the Japanese army. A bunch of other Russian ships meandered off to do their own thing and were soon interred, captured, or sunk. Because the Russians never again attempted to break out of Port Arthur, the battle had been a Japanese victory and Admiral Togo became an admired Navy officer the world over. On May 27, 1905, the Russian Baltic fleet was on its way to Vladivostok after an arduous journey from Europe. The Russians were sailing through the Tsushima Straits located between Korea and Japan when they were sighted by the Japanese. The Japanese were headed in the opposite direction of the Russians, so Admiral Togo ordered his fleet to make a U-turn in sequence so it would be running parallel to the Russian fleet. This was a pretty risky move, since it exposed each of his ships in turn to the Russians, who could have simply shot at the same area of sea the ships were maneuvering over. Luckily for Togo, it worked out. Thanks to turning in sequence, the Japanese maintained their battle line with the flagship Mikasa heading up the fleet, followed by the next most powerful ship, and so on. If the Japanese wouldn't have turned in sequence, they could have done the maneuver faster and safer, but their battle line would have been reversed with the least powerful ship in the lead and the Mikasa at the back. As the Japanese and Russian fleets drew side by side, they opened fire. Even though the Russian fleet was larger, the Japanese fleet had newer ships, better gunners, and high explosive shells. The idea behind these shells was to detonate on impact and destroy vital parts above the ship's hull instead of penetrating deep inside. Because of this, Japanese hits did more damage to the Russians than the Russian armor-piercing shells did to the Japanese. Another advantage for the Japanese was their high spirit from teamwork and loyalty to their cause. Crossing the T is when a line of ships maneuvers in front of an enemy line of ships. In this way, they can fire all of their guns at the enemy, but the enemy can only shoot back with their forward guns. In naval battles, crossing the T is the premium position the fleet tries to achieve. Since the Japanese ships at the Battle of Tsushima were twice as fast as the Russian ships, Admiral Togo managed to cross the T twice, causing a lot of damage to the Russians. The Russian fleet was hit so hard that it quickly became overwhelmed. When all was said and done on the morning of May 28, 1905, 21 of the 38 Russian ships had been sunk and over 4,300 men had been killed. The Japanese only lost three torpedo boats and 117 killed. Almost the entire Russian Baltic fleet had been destroyed. A second-ranked cruiser and two destroyers were the only Russian ships to make it to Vladivostok. 
The knockout punch this Japanese victory produced brought Russia to the peace table. Admiral Togo sealed himself a place of honor in history books. Thanks to the naval and numerous land victories, Japan arose as the first Asian power to beat a Western power in large-scale war. And for the next 40 years, the Japanese Navy ruled supreme in the Pacific until its eventual defeat at the hands of the United States Navy. Okay, guys, uh... <laughs>